Any bumps and bruises? Everyone fit? James Tavernier's got uh, a kick uh, that he obviously come off uh, the Hamilton game with. Uh, he's had some treatment over the last couple of days on that. Um, he's a doubt for the weekend, but he's not ruled out. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give him every chance. Um, Holanda's back in full training today, his first session back, which is positive news for us. Polster's back in full training today as well. Um, that, that's where we are. Could Holanda and Polster could they play on Sunday? Uh, there's, a, there's a chance Polster could be involved. Um, too soon for Holanda for, for obvious reasons. I think it's been 12 weeks now since he's been out. Uh, with that serious injury, so uh, he's going to need some time on the on the training pitch to build his fitness levels up and, and get his feeling back. Um, but we want him back available uh, as quick as we can, so we'll analyse how he looks in training over the next four or five days and then make a decision from there. Has this been maybe the most challenging week of your professional career, given everything you had to do with? Look, I think the the whole the whole twenty months has been challenging. Um, but of course, when results uh, are not good enough in a, in a short space of time, there's more heat and more pressure on myself, which I accept. Um, so in, in many ways, yeah, it probably has been uh, challenging. But even when we're winning, um, this job's challenging because you've got to try and obviously do everything you can to continue that. Um, this is one of the most challenging jobs out there. I knew that. Um, and it hasn't disappointed. The uh, Brian, the, the, the phrase you kept using there was hard work. Mm. Hard work gets you so far, though, in some situations. Um, and there's been a lot of talk about mentality this week. How do you, if there is a problem with the mentality, change that? Seven days ago, I thought our mentality was out of this world, beyond belief. Um, the mental strength, what we had to put into both them games over the week, mm. uh, blew me away. So, um, I know the mentality is there. I know it will return. Um, I think what Ryan's alluding to is when you're at a low point and things are tough, um, individually and collectively, we all have to roll our sleeves up and take that heat and that criticism and use it uh, to your advantage. And what you do is you, you strip it back and you go back to basics. And the first thing you can do which should be a non-negotiable at this club is work hard, work your socks off, work even harder than you think you can. And if you get that collective response, everything else normally falls into place from there. Does it, does it feel like it, it is a big uphill battle to try and change that mentality? It's, it's a battle, for sure. Um, and as I've just said, we're, we're, we're on the back of some real low performances and results. So, of course, yeah, at the moment where we stand, it is an uphill battle. But you know what? I like a battle. I'm game for a battle, and I know my players are. And um, I think big picture, when we get through it, I think we'll look back at this period and uh, use it to our advantage and go, you know what? We've been there. We don't want to go back there. And we'll work even harder to not go back there. So, yeah, it is a battle, but I see it as a challenge. Um, would that prepare us to be in top form right now and everything flying and be smiling here and happy, of course? I was just going to say, are you considering making yeah, but that's something I consider from game to game. Um, you know, what do the players need from me? Um, do we need to make changes to freshen it up? Do we need to offload people? Are people uh, flagging a bit in terms of uh, how they're feeling? Are they tired? Um, so that's something I always consider. Um, I think after a performance. Uh, against Hamilton, um, or a result against Hamilton, of, of, of course you, you, you're going to look to try and pick uh, the best team available to you, first and foremost, and the, and the, the team that you think can get the job done. Um, but of course, after a result like that, everyone in the team is vulnerable, of course. You mentioned individual mistakes in the past. Of course, Colin Olsen was obviously a part of the for, for the goal at Hamilton. Do you have to pick it up someone like that in the corner of the season, sort of brave enough to take that on your shoulders? Does there come a point when obviously Lando's coming fit? Does that help take the heat off him? I think, I think the, I think you look to the player straight away to see his reaction from the mistake. Uh, Connor come into the dressing room and apologised to, to his teammates. No, I'm not saying he had to do that, uh, but that tells me that's someone who's took the responsibility uh, on the chin and has owned up to, to that mistake. 
Um, but I think I'm someone who appreciates Conor Golson. He's been someone who's been fit for the majority of the time, always made himself available. He stood up to the challenge of coming here. Um, he didn't, you know, he's made a, a genuine mistake and he's all held his hand up to it. Conor's got enough in the bank with me because uh, I see his daily behaviour and what he puts into making it a success here at Rangers. Um, and I think his performance outside the mistake, he didn't do much else wrong. Um, so I'm sure he'll bounce back from it. I'm sure he'll be fine. Um, has he got my support? 100%, because I need Conor Golson. I need the best Conor Golson, so for, sh for sure it's there. Yeah, yeah. In terms of Ryan mentioned the fine power, and how big fine power can be, obviously there was a lot of anger at full time. Yeah. How important is it that you turn that around and you hope that the fans don't vote with their feet in that sense? And well, look, I, I totally understand this is a results uh, business, of course, and uh, with all due respect to Hamilton, um, that's not an acceptable result at this football club. Um, I'm, again, going to take responsibility for that. I, I, I hear the fans. Yeah, I feel them. Um, no one's hurting as much as myself and the players inside the dressing room. Um, so we certainly respect the the reaction, and we'll do everything we can to make them feel better as quick as we can, um, and that's what we've got to do. But that that's why you know it's about actions now rather than words. But we we definitely feel and hear the fans. Right, obviously the move in the squad at moment. Yeah, um, obviously we're hurting, um, we're disappointed with obviously the last two results, but. Um, it's time for us to, to knuckle down and work hard and um, and answer up. Manager said that confidence is low in the dressing room after, after the midweek result. Is it just a case of getting a win back to, to get that confidence back and then trying to build that momentum again? Yeah, I think first and foremost we just need to um, work hard in the training pitch. Um, everyone needs to knuckle down, buy into what we're doing and um, come the weekend hopefully we can get a performance that we're proud of and um, move forward from there. But ultimately, we know that the last two results have not been good enough and um, we're hurting and we want to go and uh, make that right. Has this been the hardest period since you've been at the club? Um, I, I don't know, to be honest. It's There's been a few hard periods, but um, it's how you react and um, it's how you work on the training pitch day to day. and. Um, as a group of players, we've got to stick together with the staff, I'm sure. Um, they'll back us and um, hopefully we can go and get a good result the weekend. Has it been a frustrating time? I mean, the players have been trying different things and it's just not been coming off. Yeah, I think, obviously, you see um, Wednesday night the chances we have in front of goal and um, we don't take them, which ultimately we could have been 2-3-0 up at half-time and the game's dead. but. Um, Hamilton stay in the game, get a chance, and obviously it's a mistake and they score. But um, as I say, it's, it's, I think we've just got to work hard and stick together and get through it. Are you confident that the players can get out of this rut you're on at the moment? Yeah, yeah. without a doubt. Um, I've said before, I think we've got a great mixture in the changing room, um, great experience um, with people that's been here and won things. So um, there's no doubt that we're going to lean on the experienced boys and um, everyone's got to stick together. What's hurt you in the past if you've had maybe a, a run like this that you, you get out of it as a player, as a team? Um, hard work. Um, it's just believe in what you're doing every day and um, just work hard and I'm sure I'm sure things will change. Okay, Dennis? 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 No questions? No, no, no. Sunday? 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 Yeah, it's a great draw for us. Um, a massive side, and I'm sure it'll be it'll be a two tough games. But as I say, it's it's one that we've we've got to look forward to. And um, before that, we've obviously got um, a massive three points to play for.